Hi there. This is Jacob Nash, and this is a review of Module 22. You're getting sleeper, sleepier and tireder of AP Psychology. I don't know about you, but what do you think about that you're only a fourth done with the course? Okay, so luckily this module isn't that long. Uh, consciousness. What is this? Oh, well, we've already talked about this like two times already, but as we're, that's what this unit is about. So as a refresher, this is just our awareness of ourselves and our environment, simply put. It doesn't mean what you might think, though. You have to think about that it doesn't mean necessarily you being awake. And unconscious doesn't mean like you got hit in the head with a frying pan or something. Um, that's not necessarily what it means. So you got to know that. Um, now, dual processing, already talked about this also, but this is just how we process information, remember, on two separate tracks. So you might be kind of confused by that. What does that mean exactly? Well, we have, it's, it's basically there's two different ways in our brain that it's processed. Dual means two, so you don't really need to know specifics, but you just need to know that's how it's processed. Um, what can consciousness be? Consciousness doesn't just mean you're awake. It could mean when you're alert or awake, or it could be when you're daydreaming. And daydreaming occurs spontaneously, which just means it just can happen. And even meditating is consciousness. So any of these four things, if they happen to you, that's consciousness. Now, hypnosis. I... This is some, even if you don't think this is true, you still need to know about this. Uh, hypnosis, uh, in hypnosis, you've probably heard about it, hypnotizing someone. Uh, the hypnotist begins with a hypnotic uh, induction. So this is the first thing. In, that sounds like something that's first, right? And uh, then they continue by making suggestions that the subject would respond to spontaneously. So if David Myers, the person that wrote this textbook, uh, was hypnotized, see, he would start, it would start out with a hypnotic induction, and then maybe this guy, if that's who it, who it is hypnotizing him, he would say, do this, burn all the textbooks that you made so that students don't have to read them, or something like that. Um, so can hypnosis do good? For those who do think that it's true, they have seen research that uh, say that it can help relieve pain. It could also help people remember things or act against their will, which that's not good always, and then be healed from things like headaches. Uh, dissociation. What is that? Well, that, that's when there's a split between levels of consciousness. This was suggested by Ernest Hilgard. So if, if this, this would mean like maybe you feel like that you're not even connected with yourself. That might sound weird, but pretend like um, you just, it, it, like you're on the outside looking in, almost as if you, you see your self walking but you don't think that's really you or something like it's hard to explain but it's just different levels thing just a uh disorganization and disconnection between levels of consciousness uh all right questions let's look at some questions how does hypnosis work well like i said it starts out with the hypnotic induction and then they make suggestions that the subject would respond to uh current research indicates that hypnosis is effective at at relieving pain. Uh, who used the term dissociation to describe a split between levels of consciousness? That was Ernest Hilgard. What is consciousness? It's the awareness of yourself and your surroundings. What is true about daydreaming? It occurs spontaneously and it is a form of consciousness. That's it for this video.